Hello and in this screencast for Apache Isis we're going to finish off our work on this view model by introducing a swap action that's going to swap over the values of the favourite colour and flag for the two domain objects being compared. So let's see how we do that. And in fact it's fairly straightforward. Writing an action on a view model is the same as writing an action on a regular entity. So we want to um, have a method called swap that's going to return the view model once it's complete and what's going to go in here is we're going to get hold of the left um, colour and also get hold of the right flag put this in some temporaries, now I can overwrite the value of the uh, left colour and do the same with the flag and now I can overwrite similarly using the temporaries left flag, that's it. That's it I think, uh, let's give it a go. And with the app running, let's see, we've now comparing two objects, I can see there's my new swap action, and if I click on swap, then those two properties are being swapped over. So that's it really, but um, maybe what I could do is I could improve matters by tidying up the layout. I quite like the idea of maybe having the swap uh, button in the middle, um, so let's see how we would do that. Let's uh, take our two existing columns, let's make them a bit smaller let's introduce a new column in the middle and uh, let's put the swap action there reload classes just to copy the file over and um, that's not too bad maybe let's also have a bit of uh, an icon so there's one called exchange I happen to know so we'll just try that reload so now I've got that. And then it'd be quite nice to make this take the full uh, width and maybe move it down a bit. So we could do that with some custom CSS. I'm going to use custom CSS here just to be able to target correctly the um, the right column. And uh, thereafter, what I need to do is just have um, add the CSS to application CSS. Now I've taken the liberty of, of working it out, and this is what it corresponds to. So I'm also going to reload that to copy over the CSS file and uh, click and control R to reload the CSS and it moves down nicely. So there we are, that's um, our swap action plus a bit of layout to make it look nice and tidy and that's it really, so I hope that made sense as ever. Give it a go.